what is your life purpose and how do you find it? Now, speaking about this topic, it brought me back some memories of how I got started to find my life purpose. Back then in my corporate years, I have no sense of directions, no goals, and don't know what I want to do in life. That gives me that satisfaction and fulfillment. And because of that, I have a lot of self-doubts, uncertainty, having the fear of the unknown, the failure, and afraid to step out of my comfort zone. So back then I was feeling like this because I have no sense of purpose in life. And after a while, I decided to put it a stop and reflect what I really want to do in life. And that's where I transited out from my corporate life to become a freelancer as a copywriter and now as a coach. How I got into finding my life purpose is basically figuring out these three things. Number one, you need to start thinking of what are the things that bring you the excitement and joy that you are very passionate about. Like in my case, I know that I love to communicate with people. Having that one-to-one -one deep conversation and that brings me the excitement and joy when I see lives transform. That is the things that I love to do that has a passion in it. So that every single morning I wake up, I can ask myself who I want to serve. So you need to find that thing that you're really passionate about, that gives you that meaning to it. Number two is you need to understand what are your strengths. Now in terms of strengths is you can be your natural talent. What are you really good at? What are your skills? What are your abilities? What are your character strengths? Now when it comes to character strength, that is very important because that defines who you are as a person. What are your values, your beliefs? For example, the wisdom that you have, the courage, the humility. So all these things are very important that defines who you are as a person. Because when you're able to realize your strengths, you're able to utilize them to connect and find out what is important for you in life. And how can you use your strengths to help or serve others? Number three is, who do you enjoy helping or hanging out with? Because your environment shapes your behavior. And for me, in this case, I love to hang out with leaders, entrepreneurs, high achievers, because these are my people that I would love to serve them. By understanding who you want to help, it gives you clarity of how you can utilize your strength and also what are the things that you can do to bring you excitement and joy to help this group of people. For you to live a purposeful and meaningful life, you must display a consistent behavior and able to adapt to flexibility. That means whatever obstacles that you are facing, you need to be able to adapt to changes and be willing to stay focused and be consistent of what you are doing. It all aligns with your life purpose. I hope these three points that I mentioned are useful for you to get you started on how to find your life purpose. And that gives you that clarity of what you want to do in life. That gives you that fulfillment and satisfaction. And always remember that a life purpose is a journey, it's not a destination. Because in your journey, you gain a lot of experience, making a lot of mistakes, gaining that wisdom that makes you become who you are as a person.